What up in there, this is Ben and I'm here in the kitchen going to be making some sweet ass chili and I'm going to be showing you just how to do it. Firstly what you're going to want to do right, is take two cloves of garlic. Now there's a difference between cloves and garlic. These are cloves, this is a bulb, okay? If you put in a bulb into your chili, you're going to have a bad time. So get rid of that, you don't need that, you just need this. Cloves of garlic. So what you do, right, is you put them down there and you crush. If you can't crush it with your hand, you can just use your knife, like this. I like to do it in my hand because it makes me feel like an animal. So you just peel that shit up. Shit. Open. Fuck. Whatever. Right, you see this bit down here? That's a stalk. So you're just going to want to chop that. Real, real nice. Just like so. Whatever. After that, you then take an onion. You might find this takes slightly longer than it takes me, but that's because I've got magical YouTuber powers and you don't. Take off that end, and that end. Once you cut that shit up, and you peeled it, then it's ready to get sliced. Once you've executed as many onions as you want, then just place them on this conveniently placed plate that I've just put here right now. I've just used two, but hey man, maybe you can use like three, or four, or five. The world is your oyster, and the onions are your victim. Red pepper, chop. Green pepper, chop. Red chili, chop. Green chili, chop. Once you've eviscerated your choice of scientifically classified berries, it's time to move on to the big things. The meat. All right, chaps, now it's time to cook the meat. I'm gonna be using pork steak. This is pork shoulder steak because it's got lots of fat in it, which means that it's gonna last long over the hour or so that we're gonna be cooking for. Now, if you don't wanna get pork because you're unable or unwilling to eat it, then you can also use beef, duck, venison, um, chicken, or you can use lentils and beans. It makes a pretty kick-ass vegetarian stuff. All right, let's get chopping. You want it in cubes. You see that? That's nice, that's bite size. So you want it kinda of like that space. Do all your meat just like that. All right, that's all the meat chopped, so now it's time to get cooking. Now the first thing that you are gonna wanna do is brown your meat with the onion and garlic. Oil that shit up. Ugh, yeah. You want about that much oil in? That's a good enough oil to like get browned up and stuff. Fire. Heat up your oil, you want it nice and crispy. Oh shit, I'm zooming in there. There you go. Oh yeah, let's get this party started. Onion and garlic. Fry it all, you filthy animal. You wanna make sure this gets all nice and soft and you wanna get the meat brown. Not too brown, just sort of, you know, colored, okay? Onions are softened and your meat is sufficiently colored. It should look kinda like this or a variation of it. Now you don't need to make sure this is entirely cooked straight away because you're going to be cooking it for an entire hour. Add your chilies and peppers. Cook that shit down. Giving it a good stir, it's time to add your stock. You could use, oh I don't know, beef or chicken or maybe some beer. You know why I chose beer? Because I'm drunk on power and alcohol. Yeah, get that shit right in there. And that's gonna add a pretty nice stock. You can also use red wine, hey, maybe even some white wine, I don't know. The choice is yours. Alright, good stuff. Then it's time to add all the other stuff. Put it on a medium heat, then add your tomatoes. Now, you might know these as chopped tomatoes, or if you're in America or Canada, maybe diced tomatoes. But whatever they are, just pop them in. Give it a good stir. Once you've stirred it, it should kind of look like that. Now it's time to add the beans. I've got kidney beans there and pinto beans there, but you can have as many or as few as you want. Add them in. Yeah, look at that. Next, it's time to add your tomato paste. Now, I've got some here, some tomato puree, but you might know it as paste or perhaps pulp or something like that. You want a tablespoon to put in there. 
A lot of people get confused when you say tablespoon. This is a size comparison. That's a dessert spoon. That's a tablespoon. That's a teaspoon. Put this one in the chili. Let's take a second and just talk about herbs and spices, shall we? These are your herbs and spices, and they are vitally important to the awesomeness of your chili. Beef stock, cocoa powder, oregano, cinnamon, paprika, cumin, chili powder, cayenne pepper, coriander, and the secret ingredient, cocaine. I mean, corn flour. Once your dish is bubbling away quite nicely, you want it at that. That's like a simmer. It's then time to add your herbs and spices. Now you could just put them in one at a time, but I like to just throw it all in. Yep, yep. I'll put the rest of that in later. Give it a good stir. Now you see how before it was all kind of watery? As soon as you start stirring this in, it's gonna start thickening up almost immediately. And it's gonna look great. And it smells delicious. You can really smell the cinnamon, you can smell the paprika. Oh man, this is so good. It's gonna look really tasty. Now you're gonna end up getting some lumps. That's totally fine. All right, just keep on stirring it. And then once it's done, right, once you've got all the lumps out, it'll then look something like this, okay? That's totally normal. Once that's done, you then put it on a low heat after having it simmer. And then you put a lid on it and put it on low heat on a simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how long you want it cooked for. If it looks a little bit too watery, then you can add some more corn flour and thicken it up. And I do mean corn flour, not cooking. And if it's too thick, then, and it's like started to stick, then you can just throw in a little bit of water, or maybe some more beer, or whatever you're using as a stock, okay? I'll see you in an hour. Now you're gonna kinda of want it to be like this, okay? Nice and bubbling away. It should end up looking like this. And there it is, served with rice, salsa, sour cream, and guacamole, enjoy. Hello guys, my name is Pure Ben, and I would like to thank you for watching this video if you've made it this far. I would also like to wish you good luck in making your chilies if you do make one. I had a lot of fun making this video and I would be super happy to make more. So if you would like to know different recipes then make sure to let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment I get. If this is the first video from my channel that you have ever watched then please do follow the links on the screen now. I play video games and talk about other things too like issues in video games and the video games industry. If you did like this video or you think it would be liked, useful or appreciated by your friends then make sure to share it. I would really appreciate it and you might end up introducing someone to something that they like. Finally, if you do like this channel then subscribe so you don't miss any new uploads. Thanks for watching again guys and I'll see you next time.